our Hospice Harvest Fest um, is just moments away, really. It starts with an online auction, which starts at noon tomorrow, mm -hmm. October 7th, and it runs for one week, ending on October 14th at 8.30 p.m., which is right in the middle of our actual in-person event, which will be held in the tap room at Canvas Brewery. Love Canvas. Yes, but we're here to talk about the <clears throat> auction. Mm -hmm. We have over 90 items. Mm -hmm. Some we, of them listed here now. Some of them are here. <laughs> we have 29 gift certificates. Mm -hmm. um, things like photo books, uh, massages, facials, which is right one of the props I brought with me. Um, we have home decor. We have toiletries, such as what's in our basket this here. Smells so nice too. Filled with homemade soaps love and <laughs> um, and creams. I just want to point out, not just for women. I love these. I love these so it's much. For, it's for anyone, yeah, James. Yeah, I'm absolutely a soap soapy. I guess you would say a soapy. A soapy. I'll is remember that. Like, that. You know how foodie. I'm a soapy. Yeah, you're a soapy. That is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Continue. That's great. We have homemade items. We have Baraboo Boo back with a couple of uh, the necessary clutch wallets. Say that again. Baraboo Boo. <laughs> and we have um, a selection of homemade leather wallets. Yes. They're just beautiful. We have um, art in various forms, mm -hmm. in wooden boxes, in charcuterie boards, yep. in um, a, acrylic on canvas, uh, glitter and acrylic on canvas, wow. glitter and acrylic on wood. We have some festive um, uh, decorative pieces such as uh, holiday, more Christmas oriented, um, quilted uh, table runners, that type of thing. We have a beautiful... Um, Sucker for table runners. Uh, yeah. uh, they're, they just add to the table, they right? Do, yeah. They're just perfect. Yeah. Um, Lovely pendant This, this pendant yeah. um, was donated by the Grapevine. Okay. Always very generous with hospital yeah, and we're so generous. appreciative. Yep. Yep. But this was made by a local woman named Terry Lynn and okay. it's burnt... Um, this is cherry wood yes and the design is burnt in and the company's name is burnt timber yes. art i have a little quick story i i have ordered an axe from them that they she did some burn in on the axe handle for a couple that i knew that it was a homecoming thing um it was fantastic work she is she does such amazing work so it's beautiful yeah. it's just beautiful and this particular pendant is is cherry wood mm -hmm. um we have some artwork that has been donated in memory of a couple of different uh, residents who have passed at hospice. This artwork is from their own personal collection mm -hmm. and they wanted hospice to benefit from it. Uh, we have an anonymous donor who generously donated seven pieces of Lindgren pottery. Wow. Also from their personal collection. Okay. Um, so it, it's just, there's, there's tools, there's garden type tools, there's home decor. Um, we have an water purification system like we the whole have system. like the whole sort of plug in and go <laughs> system it's not one that re it's sort of self-serving yes um we have an air purifier we have okay. tools we have items that range in in price from or in value from 25 dollars to 900 dollars. okay and the community of muskoka and perry sound um lake of bays area have been so very generous wow um, just another sort of, uh, you know, as we're discussing a third party effort to kind of, kind of bring forward more money to the hospice, yes. because, uh, as we've discussed before, I think it's, um, something like $1,700 a day you guys need to raise $1,800 $1, a day. that we must raise. That's not what it costs per day, but that's yes. what the shortfall is in our, um, in our funding. Mm -hmm. It is our reality and we do fundraising. Um, to help offset as well as the support with uh, donors and major um, major givers, people who belong to our, our 5,000 club or our 500 club, our annual appeal campaigns. That's all, um, all the various ways where we raise money to uh, keep hospice going at no charge to anyone who uses the services. And those services are not just uh, the five bed residential hospice, Algonquin Grace, but it's also uh, services within the community, visiting volunteers, grief and bereavement programs and that type of thing. Because as, as we like to remind everyone, uh, you are not government funded. Um, and so you rely on these donations, right? We are not fully government funded. Yes. We do receive a, um, a subsidy, a right? subsidy yeah. 
from the government, yes. Yep. But we are required to to raise uh, a large percentage. around 60% of our operating budget, and yeah. that equates to $1,800 a day. Yeah, it's a lot of money. So it is a lot of money. And this is this auction is part of um, our second signature event for this year called mm. the Hospice Harvest Fest. Tickets are still available, and um, there'll be music and a live art challenge. Uh, Spencer Catering is doing the food. There'll be three different food stations, and we will have a cork pull in event fundraiser. Okay. Purchase a cork, exchange the cork yes. for a bottle of wine. Mm -hmm. Corks are numbered, the wine bottles are one are numbered. So you pick number five, you get bottle number five. And as I remember with these types of events, you're really not going home with anything that you're gonna be upset with in terms of wine, right? No, 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 because um, all of the wine, all of the wine has been very generously donated mm -hmm. and um, the ticket price is equivalent to the lowest value of a bottle of wine. Yeah. So you're going to get a good bottle of wine either way. You are, and you're going to have a good time. Griffin Pub Band is going to be there. Mm -hmm. um, good food from Spencer Catering. And we also are having a live art challenge. Okay, tell me about that. four artists will be painting a 16 by 20 canvas yeah. in 40 minutes. Wow. And then at the end of the evening, um, shortly after the closing of the silent auction, we will have a live auction where Kenneth Cole will be our auctioneer and he will be auctioning those four paintings plus three other items. Okay, well, and, interesting. And uh, our so you... artists, I just want to do a shout out to our artists sure, to thank them it. because they are going to be in the middle of the room and people are going to be milling about and eating food and drinking and listening to music and they're going to paint yes. fabulous paintings. We have Helena Renwick. Travis Teekle, Jerry Lantane, and Marika McDonald. Fantastic. All painting for us. Lovely. Uh, it sounds like just an absolutely fantastic time um, that totally offsets any cost you're going to have to put in. That only goes to hospice anyways. So it's like a, right. a quadruple win, basically. It is a quadruple win. It's a great <laughs> win. And I, I would be remiss if I didn't shout out to our signature event sponsors and say thank you to them. Yes. We have... Um, 20 sponsors, one um, signature event or signature sponsor, mm -hmm. that would be um, the Muskoka Medical Center Pharmacy and Campus Trail Pharmacy. Okay. And then we have several gold, silver, and bronze level um, sponsors, and they are all listed on our um, fundraising platform for this particular event. So if anybody is interested in, in tickets and interested in participating in the um, online auction that starts tomorrow you, that starts tomorrow you yep. don't need tickets for that yep. but just go to www.hospicehuntsville.com and click on the links